Audiences are groups of people that have similarities based upon their online behavior. Google has a list of predetermined audiences on the platform. For a user to be part of one of these audiences, Google would have identified them as being in that group based upon what they search on Google, the websites they go to, and also what they watch. To find the audience section of your campaigns, you go to the gray column on the left and then click audiences. If you were to look here on a campaign that has been active for quite some time, you can get some really interesting insights into your traffic. In this section, you can tell what demographic data, such as age, gender, household income. You can also click show table at the top of the section to give you even more insights. This section is the breakdown of how Google has grouped the people that click on your ads by their interests. So the first one here means that all of those people who clicked show high interest in that field. What you can do if you already have search campaigns active for some time is look here and then use the best performing audiences based upon your conversion data and then use those same ones in your YouTube or display campaigns. We'll now go through the difference between all of these different audience types. Click Edit, Audience Segments. And then you just click Browse. And then you have your full view of audiences that you can use. There are multiple types of predetermined audiences that Google provide for you. The first is called Detailed Demographics. Here you can select other information that the previous demographic section doesn't let you select. Here you have such information such as marital, education, and home ownership status. The next is called Affinity Audiences. They define this as users' interests and habits. Here you can find people who are interested in food and dining. Though then you can get even more granular. And once you go into it, you can go to cooking enthusiasts. And then even go into 30 minute chefs or aspiring chefs. You can then use these audiences to target your ideal customers. For instance, if you were to sell environmentally friendly coffee cups, then coffee shop regulars might be a good audience to use. Now to get all of this information on users, Google uses signals from its platforms, including Google search, YouTube, maps, shopping, and more, someone to fall under the banking and finance, and then avid investors. They might have frequently typed it into YouTube how to invest invest their money, and they watch videos on investing. Now, if we go back, the next type of audience are in-market audiences. Google gives a breakdown of people who are actively researching for products or services. The in-market audiences include people looking to purchase a car or even dating services. Similar to affinity audiences, Google uses its own data to determine these segments. For example, to fall under the financial services and then go to the credit and lending, someone might have repeatedly searched on Google credit card comparison or home loans to fall into that group. So overall, we recommend using these three audience types for brand awareness campaigns, as they are often very large. The next audiences that you have an option here for, we recommend you use these for conversion-based campaigns. There shouldn't really be any here yet, as you have to create them from scratch. To manage all of your own audiences, you go to Tools and Settings, and under Shared Library, click on Audience Manager. This is where you'll create and manage all of your custom audiences. 
instance, the first custom audience we recommend is called Custom Intent. They allow you to target users that have been recently researching, and on average they generate 30% higher conversion rates compared to other audiences. To set this up, go to the second tab labeled Custom Segments, and then click the plus icon. You will need to name your audience based upon what your targeting is. Feel free to go do the targeting first and then come back and name it. The targeting that we recommend is people who search for any of these terms on Google. This enables you to target people on YouTube and display that have recently searched terms on Google. For instance, we could target people who have been searching on Google, Google Ads courses, and then we could use that audience to target them on YouTube with videos explaining how we teach Google Ads courses. We recommend you select the top 10 to 15 keywords from your best performing ad groups and then create an audience per ad group to keep them within the theme. This will allow you to tailor your message to who you're targeting. It will also allow you to easily identify which audiences are best performing and which ones are underperforming. There is also another audience targeting option that's called people with any of these interests or purchase intentions. These can also perform well for conversions. Make sure you create multiple audiences and constantly test them all to identify which ones will work the best for your business. There is another important audience type we recommend called remarketing. Remarketing is a method of advertising where you engage with users based upon their behaviors with your brand. The most common example would be remarketing to someone who's been to your website that hasn't completed a purchase. Just because someone has visited the website, it definitely doesn't mean they're going to become a customer straight away. Some customers might not be ready to make the purchase, they aren't convinced enough, need to do more research, or they might have gotten distracted and went to do something else. Instead of waiting for these visitors to come back, which often they won't, we can use audiences to retarget these customers with ads to try and bring them back to the site and become a customer. So these are basic remarketing audiences automatically set up, which count as all visitors and all converters. These will start populating once you have properly set up the tracking onto your website. You can also create custom remarketing audiences in the audience manager. Click on plus to create a new audience. And then you want to click on website visitors. Now under segment members, you select how you want to filter the visitors of your website to create custom remarketing audiences. Under actions, the current default option would mean that if someone visited any page on the website in the past 30 days, they would be included in this audience. And this is a good place to start. For the pre-fill options, usually you would select the pre-fill segment option as it can backdate for you all the users that have already been to the website. If you were to select start an empty segment, then that would only start collecting users from this point onwards, so you'd potentially miss out on previous users that have been to the website. That completes the basics of audiences. We'll now go into more detail on how to set up each campaign type.